this second instalment of this four part series, we are now going to lift the veil behind the NHS Band 2 dental charge by exploring a private course of treatment and how this might differ if performed on the NHS. Before we get into today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to this channel so you can get weekly videos direct into your inbox. So following on from part one, let's suppose you've had your examination and x-rays as part of your band one and your dentist has identified a few problems that need addressing. These include multiple fillings or restorations as those dentists typically call them on the lower right seven, the lower left five, the lower left six, as well as the need for improved oral hygiene, so some oral hygiene instruction, and a full mouth scale. Now, under the NHS, this would of course put you in the band two category, uh, which would amount to £65.20 presently, and as it's a cumulative system, this would include everything within the band one fee as well. A reminder from part one, your dentist doesn't receive this money, they are paid by UDAs or units of dental activity. A band two dental charge equates to just three UDAs, whether you have one, three, five, six, nine fillings, it's the same number of UDAs that goes to the practice. So your dentist, if they're on 10 pound per UDA, is going to receive uh, 30 pound in total, that is 10 pound for the examination and 20 pound for all the treatment. Your practice in turn is going to receive £90, that's if they're on a generous UDA rate of £30 per UDA, which in turn leaves £60 to pay the remaining overheads. So let's look at the treatment that I provided here in more detail. On the lower right hand side, we have a heavily broken down lower right seven. Now I have restored this tooth with a direct composite and we have preserved the tooth's vitality such that it doesn't require a root canal treatment presently. This took me 45 minutes, and on the left hand side, we have provided two additional fillings uh, on the lower left five and the lower left six. And on the same visit, I also performed a simple scale and provided oral hygiene instruction. In total, this visit took one hour. So in total, including the examination of half an hour, the total treatment time was two hours and 15 minutes, and the patient paid in total 450 pound, which equates to the practice earning 200 pound per hour, and on a 50-50 split, meant that me, the dentist, earned 100 pound an hour. Now let's look at the same course of treatment if it was provided on the NHS. So as I said, it's a band two, which equates to three UDAs. So your practice, if they're on a UDA rate of 30 pound, would earn 90 pound in total, which would equate to just 40 pound per hour for the practice. And your dentist, as I said, is going to get just three UDAs, which equates to 13 pound, 33 pence per hour for your dentist. Now then, let's turn the screws further. Let's say you need an additional filling on the upper right six and a, and a further filling on the lower left seven. Let's look at the figures now. Furthermore, let's now add that the lower right seven has flared up and under the NHS regulations, we have to reopen the same course of treatment and we have to book an additional 45 minutes. Let's look at the figures now. Now, unfortunately on the NHS, your dentist cannot charge for late cancellations and let's add another caveat. Let's say you were booked in for this 45 minutes and you failed to turn up or you cancelled at the last minute. Let's look at the figures now. Now I haven't plucked those figures out of thin air. Those are genuine figures and these are real life occurrences for many dentists across the UK, particularly when they're taking on new patients who are highly anxious and often these patients are the ones who have neglected their teeth for a long, long time and in turn, they are going to need a lot of treatment to get their mouth stable. Can you start to see now why your dentist is not so keen on staying within the NHS dental system and in turn why it is so hard for you to find an NHS dentist? Let me know your thoughts and, uh, and do comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next instalment where we'll be looking closely at the band threes.